perpetually visited the Bureau of Board of Directors. So, I'm going to call this meeting to order. And our first item of business is to get our approval of the contract between the Convention Visitors Bureau and the City of Night Benefits. Carl, anything you want to talk about before I well, basically, uh, you all have uh, seen this. There's just been a couple of uh, uh, additions that uh, were put in by the uh, city attorney, which pretty much follows along with uh, what we have in our budget right now for maintenance for uh, the building, which is, uh, has been set aside. Uh, and the rest of it is, for the most part, just we believe that the city manager be put into this thing, so as far as I know it, it has not really changed in substance since last year. Chair, we have a motion. Motion, we have the contract. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Do we have any questions about this? <coughs> I read through it pretty carefully, and it's pretty much the same thing we had last year. So, if there is uh, there are no questions, no discussion, then uh, I have a motion to second. All in favor of approving this contract with the city, signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. Okay. Next item: approval of the marketing plan for 2016-2017. Carl, you and folks want to tell us about this? Okay. Uh, at this. Point. I mean, first of all, I'll just say thank you and kudos to the sales and marketing team. Uh, we were able to put together a 48 page marketing plan in a matter of six days. Um, a lot of this information we already had uh, as far as the beginning of it because we did have the research that was done by uh, uh, Steve Powell and his organization. We also had information from the Office of the Governor and so forth. There's other information, however, that uh, we did have to research. And then when we get into the nitty gritty of it, which is the uh, goals, objectives, action plans, and the ROI, these are things that we have to sit down with and do this, uh, our own SWOT analysis uh, after we looked at what we had previously had, some of that was used, we added to the SWOT analysis to a certain degree. Um, we feel that we have pretty much covered every, every item that, that we could think of that would be uh, helpful in marketing the destination. Now, again, this is a, a, a fluid document. It's a living document. It's something that we're using as a guideline, and as we move forward, if we see that we have to adjust on it as circumstances happen, then we will have to come back to the board of the city to uh, uh, to discuss that. But at this point, uh, with what information we have at our disposal at this moment, this is uh, uh, something I feel is uh, going to take us into 26, 2017 and help us to, to certainly uh, have a goal and a, and a, a guideline to move forward with. And I open it to questions from the board. Well, we need a motion before we can have any discussion. Move acceptance of the marketing plan. Second. Okay, and a motion to second. Any discussion? Any questions? There was input from the committee as well as staff, correct? I'm sorry? The committee? Yes. Okay. Well, in, in this particular case, we we uh, ran this by uh, Jason Reese, uh, who is the marketing professor at SFA. Upon uh, finishing it up, he looked it over and went through it with us, uh, with the staff, uh, giving some suggestions and so forth. Um, and again, uh, we had uh, other suggestions that had been made to us that uh, we needed to address, which we uh, we did during our uh, compilation of the, the information. I thought you were a marketing committee. No. Well, I am marketing committee. Surely. Surely's Shirley. 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 marketing yeah. Shirley and then uh, Jason Reese, who's a former board member, who's a marketing professor. Um, Chris Hancock. Myself and uh, 
legislative committee did a masterful job on this. This is what we said we'd like to accomplish. This is where we stand. We have surpassed this. We're not quite here with this. We may have to adjust this. But at least it gives that ability for us to do that. Well, and that's, that's the part that I think was really necessary. We have very tangible objectives. We have ways to measure whether we're achieving those objectives. And we have a way to implement action plans if we're not here. Page 23, I had a note about. I was, I was very interested in the idea that it seems like our media performance is very much tied to our print uh, ads. That the rate of click through seems to increase dramatically <coughs> when we have a, a good print campaign going. Um, I had not seen those kinds of data before. So I appreciate that very much. That, that, that means to me that the money that we're investing in Texas Monthly and Texas Highways not only bringing people from there, but it's leading people to our other, uh, our other spaces. Yes. And, and, and Texas Mobility, obviously, is the one that we receive <coughs> the most consistent feedback from and requests for yeah. information from. So. Yeah, but if, and if Texas Monthly is pushing people to our website as we get this new site up there, then that's going to be huge. Absolutely huge. But we will be branching out this year also, so we're, we'll be going to a lot different areas as well as Texas. That Texas monthly is pretty pricey, but it. Uh, it is. It's about $6,000 a month. For what? For about. Half page, not a full page. Full page is $6,000. Yeah, and we got 58000 budget this year for Texas monthly. Wow. However, if you go through this and you look at our actual advertising uh, budget, you'll see <coughs> that we add, and as you read through this, it will tell you the other magazines and combining with Mad Media's digital campaign we're doing and so forth. Uh, how it's, it's going to, to flow together. Good. The, question, the, the, the one question I did have on page 30 where you're talking about the precinct group and the page, and I'm, I'm curious as to how that really fits our mission by spending our time and energy in those people. It's already in existence. Right. It's something that continues to just, we're not necessarily uh, promoting it. No, but we do have a relationship with Norwich Crossing. And they attend a one-way show in the uh, Kingwood area, and so we support that with collateral material, like a dollar donation to it. But we're not we're not actively um, going after that because those groups seem to be a little older. Yeah, and, and the sense that I've gotten, and I don't know a lot about it, the sense I've gotten is those people are not likely to go home and organize another overnight trip to Mexico. They are not the organizers. I just, I just, I, I think it's, 
you know, we, I hear this a lot. I feel like it's short-sighted to only focus on, you know, the overnight stayers because um, if they like our town, if they come and they spend a day here and they like our town, they'll be like, hey, you know, I like this town. We, we need to schedule a time to come back when we have more time or, you know, let's recommend it to somebody or let's plan a trip with all of our girlfriends to come here. Um, <clears throat> You know, I, I just think we should be focused on visitors, not necessarily, you know, oh, well, don't bother with them, they're just day trippers. You know, that's just short sighted. I don't think we do that's that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mean, they, day trippers will turn into overnight, you know. People. As long as we don't have to put uh, a lot of time and effort into it, um, we, we have a fantastic group of volunteers who are going to get on the buses with them, take them around. Um, but to me, it's 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 just a, a another way of promoting the town without spending money on it per se. And if even one or two of those people that are most of them are senior citizens, they don't they don't do that much driving, but they have children, they have grandchildren, they have friends that do. Is this is just a way of a good PR of advertising, um, and, and advertising into the destination without. Put a lot of time and effort into it because they're, they're going to do one way or the other. Mm -hmm. Well, some some of the most effective marketing is, is word of mouth. So if, if they have a positive experience that they trip as well, they're going to go back and tell others. That 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 holds a lot more weight with with consumers than than, than they have instead of speak to that point. So that, I mean, that's <clears throat> the integrated which we have in the marketing plan is important. Um, sure. as, long as, as long as we all know that's the ultimate. feel I need to remind. You can't discuss this. It's an open meeting law. If it's not posted on the agenda, you cannot talk about it. You can 
only talk about those things that are posted. So, All right, so breaking the rules. It's against the state law. It's against the law. Right. It's not an arbitrary rule. Thank you.